Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm like really stoked on coffee and also this product I'm going to be reviewing today. I am so excited and I think it's just because it's like a new discovery for me. Like I was just stumbling on Sephora's website and found this product. So, 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 so stoked to see this on Sephora's website. A, because I've never heard of the brand. B, because it's a new brand that is, you know, relatively new to the clean beauty market. And it's found on Sephora's website, which is pretty cool. Plus, um, Sephora's VIB sales coming up shortly. So definitely this might be something to look into adding to your cart if, um this review actually ends up turning out okay um and also on that vib sephora sale note i do just want to say that i'm going to be filming a sephora vib sale recommendations video products that either i already own and am loving or products that have been on my list for a long time that i want to purchase and they're obviously going to be clean beauty products so um, definitely stay tuned for that video that will be sh up shortly because for VIB Rouge, I think the sale starts on the 26th of October, so it's coming up really soon. Um, so I want to get that video out for you guys before um, the sale hits. So without any further ado, let's get right into this foundation that I'm, oops, already spoiled it. Oh my God. <laughs> so let's get right into this product, which is a foundation that I found online and I'm so excited to try out. So, this is the foundation, Lawless. This is the brand name, and it is the Flawless Finish Makeup. This is the Woke Up Like This Flawless Foundation in the shade Sonoran, Sonoran, Sun Sonoran. I'm probably butchering that. So this is the brand Lawless. They actually have a few products on Sephora's website. Currently they have a foundation, um, some liquid lipsticks that I'm dying to try out, a setting powder which I'm also dying to try out, and then like I said the foundation. So there's three products um, with varying shades obviously. And this is $60 Canadian on Sephora's website. and. Basically, the brand is made by this um, woman called Annie, and basically her story is that she was really sick of a bunch of, you know, makeup products and beauty products containing harmful ingredients that were carcinogens and that were endocrine disrupting, and so she decided to create a line of cosmetics that was A, free of toxic ingredients, clean, green, all that stuff, but also super effective and, you know, high coverage and the performance was basically the equivalent of conventional makeup products out there, which is super exciting. So I'm just going to read the little spiel that's on the back here, basically a little note from the creator Annie. She says, makeup is sexy, makeup is transformative, makeup is art, and now makeup is safe too. At Lawless, I am committed to providing beauty products that are always free of ingredients that harm your skin, your health, the earth, and animals. I don't take the term natural lightly. We are really clean AF, and AF means always free of the bad stuff for you. None of our ingredients are known to be cancer causing or endocrine disrupting. Our flawless finish makeup is formulated for all skin types with medium to full buildable coverage and a fresh satin finish. This non-comedogenic formula won't clog your pores, wear comfortably throughout the day with a lightweight feel that won't fade or disappear. I hope you enjoy playing with our makeup as much as I do. Um, so formulated without parabens, phthalates, PEGs, mineral oils, sulfates, aluminum, chemical fragrance, silicones, and petroleums, and it's cruelty free. So let's just talk about the packaging. It's absolutely flawless it's so gorgeous it's in this kind of like this smooth matte box um it's very luxe looking you can easily see the shade that you're choosing on the top um it has this like risen font that says woke up like this on the sides um and then when you open it the foundation looks like this it's really beautiful packaging it is a sturdy glass um like a frosted glass with a nice pump on it this says shake well by the way um so i'm going to start shaking it up when i first um 
saw this packaging, I actually did pump it. So I wanted to check to see if the shade was the right color. And when I did pump it, at first it was very like oily and wet. So I thought that was really weird. So I kept pumping it and shaking it well just to make sure that I didn't get like a bad batch just because I was watching some other reviews just to make sure that this is not how the formula is actually supposed to be. And it was coming out as nice thick um, pumps. So I had to like shake it really, really well and then I tried again and then after a few pumps I actually got a nice, um, you know, thick pump. So I highly recommend that if you do get this foundation, shake it, shake it really well and then pump a few times just until you get that nice thick pump because if it is really like greasy looking or separated, it means that you haven't either shaken it or maybe it's not good. So, all right, so let's just tuck my hair behind my ears. Okay, obviously my bangs are being annoying. I've got my handy dandy Tarte mirror slash Tarte palette. If you guys are wondering, this actually is by Tarte. This is where I keep all my Kierweiss products. So I bought this online, so hopefully they still have it. If they do, I will link it down below because I've had some questions about it. All right, let's do Beauty Blender first. But you know what? I'm going to actually pump this on my fingers first and then I'm gonna dot it. So. Let's go. Come in. I'm pumping it a lot to try and get product out. Okay. That was rough. Rough, tough. And it's actually pretty thick, like it's not dripping. I'm gonna do this side beauty blender. And because I have self tanner on this color, actually works pretty well. Hold on. Okay, this has a very sweet citrusy smell, like it's very fragranced, and it smells exactly like the Farsali Rose, wait no, the Farsali 24 Karat Gold Elixir. That's what it smells like. Woo! Do you guys see that? Okay. Not kidding, when Annie says this is full coverage. This is literally the fullest coverage foundation I have ever used that is green. Oh my god. And it's like, it has a nice like luminosity to it. It's gorgeous. I love this. Holy smokes. Okay. Before, after. So it was a few pumps, but it's just because I was having a hard time getting the product out. But I would say that was probably like one full pump. Really covered my face, and that's even with the beauty blender, and that usually soaks up a lot of product. That looks, literally looks flawless. I'm already impressed. However, because of the scent is so strong, it may be a deal breaker for some of you guys. I actually really like the scent. I think it's really pleasant. So um, I'm going back in. Okay, so let's do two pumps. I would say each pump is like a relatively small amount. Like it doesn't over um, pump products that you're wasting. So I would say that two pumps is pretty good. So let's dot that on the other side of my face. I'm like super stoked about this. And how many times am I gonna say stoked in a video? Um, make sure I don't leave any product behind. Okay, so then I'm gonna go with my foundation brush, which is the Morphe M439. This is amazing. And I'm just going to kind of stipple it. And blend down my neck. Sometimes my neck looks dirty when I do self tanner. Because I'm not the best. I always have to make sure I blend my foundation a bunch. It 
it dries. I feel like it dries quickly. I already like the application better with a, a sponge, so I'm just gonna go back in with a sponge just because I find it's looking too, too thick and cakey. So I know I said I would do half and half, but I really don't like it. I'm going out with this makeup after, so I am blending. It just blends so much nicer so I definitely suggest that you dab with your finger and then go in with the beauty blender I feel like whenever you put product directly on the beauty blender and then start blotting it eats up the product I like faintly smell the scent on my skin but it's not overwhelming it doesn't smell as strong as if I were to like sniff the uh, my hand where I place the product all right I have a bit of a dry nose right now so it's getting a little bit stuck to some of my dry parts Ugh. Move this out of the way. It's a little bit tacky, but I read somewhere that you have to uh, give it a couple minutes to actually. Um, it feels a bit tacky, but I've heard from, um, I believe it's the founder Annie, that you should let it sit for a few minutes um, to let it dry down just because it's got like natural oils in it. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer to dry down to the satin finish um, compared to conventional beauty products so I will do that I'm just kind of going around with the beauty blender really making sure it's all dabbed in beautifully I've been contemplating whether or not to apply my concealer or use the foundation as um, an under eye concealer and just see how that performs so I think I'm going to actually do the foundation to cover up my under eyes and really just see how it performs on its own. Um, and to be honest, like I don't have any blemishes right now, um, thankfully, but kind of unfortunately for this video. But I feel with the um, coverage of this foundation, it would do a really good job at covering blemishes. So I'm going to apply the foundation under my eyes, I'm gonna do maybe about half a pump. I don't wanna to take too much, okay. So I'm going to dot that just right under my eyes. The only like downside about doing this under your eyes is that it's the same color as your foundation, so it's obviously not gonna have um, a very brightening effect. So, I mean, I guess you could buy two different foundations, or if you don't really care about it being brighter or not, then you could just use the same color. And I actually don't care too much. I usually do like brightening, but I really don't care that much. Because I always just use like a highlighter after and a bronzer to add more dimension into my face so I don't need my under eye concealer to be always lighter but that's personal preference I'm actually quite happy with the way that looks I think that looks nice so what I'm going to do now is just set, um, especially under my eyes because I don't want that to crease. Like I said, um, this line does have a setting powder, a loose setting powder. They have a um, regular translucent powder 
We have a brightening one, which I really do want to try, and it's like a peachy pink shade. And then they have a deep shade, which is meant for um, individuals with deeper skin tones, but I have also heard of people using it as a loose bronzer if you are on the fair side. So, I mean, all of their loose setting powders seem, you know, very multitasking. But I'm definitely interested in trying the brightening one because um, I love color correcting and I think it'd be really cool to see how that works under the eyes. And then I obviously really want to try their liquid lipsticks because there's not a whole lot of liquid lipsticks in the green beauty community. Um, there is one that I really do want to try which is by Cloven Hollow. They have I believe five or six different shades and there are three that I really really want to try out that I think I'm going to purchase shortly. Um, and then there are ones by Trust Fund Beauty. The only downside about Trust Fund Beauty is that you can only purchase off their website, like the Trust Fund Beauty website, online. And it's all in American pricing and it's relatively expensive for a small container. So I don't, I don't know how soon I'll be really trying out their products, but I've heard really good things. And then obviously Lawless has their liquid lipsticks and there are a few that I want to try out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze um, in the shade Medium. I just got this and I'm really excited to try it out. It's like a very luminous bronzer. It is a very luminous bronzer so I'm really excited to try it out. And Bare Minerals products on a Think Dirty app, most of them range from like a 2 to 3. So I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it's considered the green zone, so they're safe. And um, not all of their products. I think some of their foundation or concealer might be like a four or five. So it's like in the yellow zone. A lot of their like powders, powder foundations, their um, tinted moisturizer, eyeshadows, they're all like one or something so I thought that was really great and I'm excited to try out some more minerals products because it's really nice to find some products that you can find at Sephora that are clean. So I'm using the Morphe R2 brush and I think this will be a nice, I know it's medium but I feel like it's not that deep. Let me center myself, I'm like off center. That'll be a really nice winter shade. And I'm doing the three motion. My hair is getting in my way. I used hot rollers today because I didn't want to curl my hair. I wanted to see if I can get some nice like bounce. So I use some hot rollers I got off of Amazon. I think by, I think that by Revlon or Conair. I'll double check and let you know. But they're they're decent. The only thing about them is that there's not enough in the package to do my whole head. So I actually have to do like section my hair off, do half, and then go back in to do the other half. But I like how bouncy it is. That's a really pretty natural bronzer. It just adds a really like a really beautiful flush and I also like the radiance it gives you because it has a bit of shimmer so if you like a really matte bronzer this won't be the one for you but I really like the shimmer that's in here look, look. I'm gonna put more on my face I'm super excited to try more Bare Minerals products and I'm going to be um, showing you some of the products I really want to get in my VIB sale. So stay tuned for that video guys, it's going to be really good. Um, but this is not about Bare Minerals. It's about Lawless. And looking flawless. And blending. And full coverage. And green beauty. Yes, queen! I love. I love. Okay, I'm going to apply a cream blush on top of this just because I want to see how it like looks and I really hope this doesn't mess it all up because I'll be really pissed off 
if I messed up my makeup after it looks so good but true test okay I'm gonna be using the Cure Weiss blush in blossoming this is like one of their I think best selling blushes is the blossoming one so oh shit it's so pigmented Did I put too much on? This stuff is so pigmented, you guys. It's like ridiculous. But it blended seamlessly. And I don't know if that's because Cure Weiss products are unbelievable or if it's because this foundation is amazing and it will let me put a cream blush on top even after I've set it okay I feel like this one doesn't pretty I like it and then I'm gonna be using the radiance highlighter by Cure Weiss and applying that to the cheekbones to the cheekbones. I'm not flipping you off yet. <laughs> Probably shouldn't use my middle finger, but. Ooh, I'm feeling this makeup, you guys. I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself. Do you guys know that song? I don't know where it's from or who it's by, but I've clearly heard it before because I'm singing it. Boop, right on the center of my nose. Give you a little makes your noise look <laughs> noise <laughs> it makes your noise I just did it again it makes your nose look really cute and petite and like a little bit pointy if you do that I really like I know I keep using my middle finger you guys but it's honestly just because I like blending with it Okay. Um, what's next? Because I'm like really into this makeup look right now. Like I feel like my face just looks like so flawless. Okay, and then I'm just going to put I think the same blossoming on my lips. mixed with radiance okay guys so here is the finished look with the foundation I am really 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 loving the way my makeup's looking I feel like everything I've put on has just been like a good makeup day and it might be thanks to this foundation so um we'll see how it wears I'm gonna do a little bit of a vlog style showing how this wears until night my boyfriend Jay and I are going out for dinner with some friends and we'll be out probably a little bit late and we'll be eating and drinking and so it'll really give an idea of how this foundation holds up throughout the night so yeah I will check back in once before we leave and then again um, when we come back just because it's a little bit later in the day so yeah it's my days off you guys I don't get up early so I'll see you guys shortly okay so I thought I would show you guys what this um, foundation looks like on it's been about an hour um, I've got hot rollers in right now I know I'm going out shortly and I wanted to um, kind of revive my curls but yeah I thought I would show you what the foundation looks like in real daylight because I was using some lighting before so I'm getting way too close can you see I think it looks pretty darn good all my makeup is layered really really nicely over top of it and it's definitely dried down to a nice satin finish it doesn't have any like tackiness to it it's not like sticky at all um 
yeah I'm like really happy with the way it looks right now I'm just looking in the mirror right now just to see what it looks like and it's a pretty decent match it like matches my neck I would say pretty well and so far so good I'm gonna ask my boyfriend what he thinks of it and see if he likes it or not hey babe so I'm um, it turn it down are you filming a video yes because I want you to give me your true reaction of what you think how you think my foundation looks what's foundation my like skin like makeup that I put on my skin to like it's like the same color as my skin looks good looks like your skin it looks like my skin so it looks natural? Yes. Do you not want to be in it? I don't care. <laughs> this looks like your skin. That's good. Does it look like a flawless skin? Driving. <laughs> okay, I'll stop bothering so, you. That's all right. I can't look at you for that long. Okay guys, so it's like 10 o'clock I think. Here is how the foundation looks, this is the last check-in of the day. I know it's only the second one, but there wasn't really much time otherwise to do a check-in. So I say it's pretty, pretty flawless. Um, my nose is just dry to begin with, and because it's not a very hydrating or dewy foundation, it does kind of emphasize that, but it's really just on my part for not exfoliating the dry skin off and moisturizing it enough. So yeah, it kind of shows that, but not like to the extent. It's kind of a bit flaky, which is my norm. Um, yeah, actually, I'm really impressed with the foundation. I really, really like it. It doesn't feel heavy at all on the skin. Obviously, I don't wear a full foundation or full coverage foundation very frequently, but it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Um, it feels dry and I really like the way it looks and you even saw how my boyfriend reacted when we did the check-in he says it looks like your skin which is obviously a good sign because a guy doesn't think that I'm wearing makeup well he knows I'm wearing makeup but he doesn't think that it looks like makeup which is obviously a good sign and for someone who doesn't wear full coverage foundation very often this is a really positive review so I love this foundation it's definitely like a new holy grail of mine so here is what it looks like under some more yellow lighting. This is just my bathroom lighting. I would say it looks pretty darn flawless. I'm still really glowy. Um, I still look matte. I don't look shiny. There's like no shine to my forehead except where I applied the um, highlighter and same with my cheeks. It just looks really healthy. So all in all, I am super happy with this foundation. I feel super light, like super lightweight like I mentioned and I would 100% wear this foundation again and even I would wear this foundation like on a day-to-day -day basis. It looks super flawless, doesn't feel heavy. I love the way my skin feels. I love the way that my makeup applies on top of it and I totally give this like a 5 star out of 5. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I will definitely come out with some more foundation reviews and product reviews and brand reviews. If you guys have any specific requests of either a brand you really want to see, like a full first impressions or review of a specific foundation or a specific product then definitely leave the comments down below and I will be sure to you know get on that I love doing brand reviews so if there's a brand you've really been wanting to see you know a full face of then let me know